you, 6'4 Yankee. It's always 6'4 Yankee. Ruin our filming. What do you say? Do you call BS or uh, have we been telling people the truth? Do, do we need to mic up John Duff asking him a quick question or are we good? So. <laughs> like Cold Tower about that. Hey guys, Wayne from Sling Pilot Academy here. I'm super stoked about this next video. First of all, Happy New Year. Uh, new Year, new twins. Really excited to be here with Andrew. Uh, get his feedback on these beautiful new machines. Enjoy the video. I'm super excited to introduce to you one of our brand new multis. So New Year, new twins. We picked these up, the, the, these beautiful Technum uh, P2006Ts. They've only been used for aerial survey. They're a lot newer than the other two that we have. You know, pilots are really excited to be, to be flying these new babies. I've got Andrew DeClue here with me today. Andrew's one of our graduates. He was one of our top ground instructors, one of our top CFIs. He's now off at a, at a company called Advanced Air Flying King Air. Yeah, King Air 350. And uh, obviously Andrew did his training in one of these. It's Andrew's day off, but he, he still likes to come hang out with us. Any chance I get, I come back here, say hang out. Get to fly the planes every once in a while because there's nothing like flying a sling. And you're still helping people, still coaching, you know, Absolutely, still doing yeah, no, like training I'm, and coaching. The yeah. teaching part's been, I think, it was probably the most fun I've had here, just instructing, um, just getting to know people and spreading the knowledge. That's, that's aviation, it's just you know, teaching everyone what you know. So, Oh, thanks for coming back and hanging out. Absolutely, yeah. So I'll tell you what I tell, I mean, I, I probably did your tour. I, uh, I, yeah, you, you and Matt actually double teamed yeah, me yeah. up. So I'll tell you what I tell people about our training and then you can call BS or not. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So what I tell people is, first of all, you don't normally get a cockpit like this in a, in a training aircraft. No, and it's, it, this is the most unique multi that I've, I mean, I and everyone I've met so far in aviation have heard of. When I was in Kansas, I got to meet pilots from all over the country that were training for whatever aircraft they were working towards. And, you know, everyone's heard of a Technum, but a twin Technum, it, it was a unique one. Mm -hmm. But it, it's the perfect trainer. Avionics inside, like you said, it's something you don't see. Everyone's been in some 1960s steam gauge, you know, Seminole or Dutches that, you know, it's barely working, you know, but mm. in here we get the nice glass and stuff that really does set you up for your future career. Especially if you're gonna go off and fly at a 135 operation, which is a, an un unscheduled flight. Yep. Having this G1000 experience is just perfect. You're flying Cessna Caravan, King Air, Pilatus. Uh, there's so many aircraft out there that use the G1000. Um, so having, having this platform here with very similar avionics and a beautiful cockpit, it really sets you up for success. What do you say? Do you call BS or uh, have we been telling people the truth? So far I've been on the dot. Like I can't say enough how much I appreciate going through this program. Um, just avionics wise, like I just told you, uh, I did my type rating on a Proline 21, which is a different avionics suite than what we're running in the slings and the Technum. But just having the screens and the, and the technology in the autopilot, it put me far ahead of my entire class. You know, I was, uh, I had the old chief pilot at UPS. He was, oh, in my, wow. he was in my class, he was getting a type rating on the King Air. He had no idea what to do. Mm. He, he had barely any time with this kind of autopilot system that we use in the planes, and it, he was just struggling with it. He didn't take his check ride, he ended up falling behind. Oh, and, wow. Uh, yeah, and it, it was very clear. Anyone that worked with planes with glass doing the type rating, they just zoomed ahead in the, in the, the type rating. And G1000 in particular is not terribly intuitive. So the G3X Touch is amazing, the one we use in the in the uh, Sling 2, but uh, in the TSI. But the G1000 is not very intuitive. So no. it's, I feel like it's really worth getting that experience. So that's why damn noisy slings everywhere. <laughs> the G1000 is not terribly intuitive. So that's why we chose to put it in the uh, in the Sims as well. So here you're going to get G1000 experience in the Sims and also the multis. So then if you do end up going off and doing what you're doing, particularly flying 135, you know, it really kind of sets you up for success. Yeah, it's a whole perfect set, especially with the sim, like you said. Um, you know, getting 50 hours on the sim before you even touch the multi, it, it makes it a huge difference because it allows you to come into this plane and just focus on flying the plane. You already know what you're doing with the G1000, so yeah, you just get to enjoy the flying in it. Maybe now you can have a look at the new, have a look Absolutely, at these, this yeah. new one and see, see how it compares to, to the old. It, yeah. Oh yeah. 2017? Yeah, it's 2017. It's yes. only been used for aerial survey. Uh, so it hasn't had students beating the crap out of it. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> Everything's inside. in really nice shape. Oh yeah, like all the switches. Oh man. Oh yeah, there you go. He's like nice and matte and new. Nice and new and someone you can easily transition into. So Multis tend to be kind of heavy on maintenance. So uh, now that we have four of them, 
means we should have at least three flying at any one time. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the joke in aviation is flight school multis, but uh, we have two. We're great at keeping one up. And yeah, having four now, and especially nice and new ones that are, mm. you know, untouched, it's going to be a huge game changer for us to have all these. So even if you're not here at Sling, you want to come do your multi here. So they're really cost effective. Uh, what are we charging? Like $295 an hour and $80 an hour for the instructor? Insanely competitive rate. Yeah. You tell very, people our price for the multi. I mean, sometimes it's double the price for what we're charging and they'll be getting that, that old steam gauge stuff. But here you get complex and everything that you need for a multi. From Andrew, it's real. <laughs> no matter what avionics suite you go into for airline 135, whatever it is, you know, you're, you're set up way ahead of everyone else with having the glass and the autopilot, just everything that we have. Nice. <laughs> yeah, anyone doubts the climb rate of these things? <laughs> Speed demon. So I wasn't sure how I was going to light the gray, uh, but now that they're here and we've got, you know, sling decals on and everything, I love the gray. So sleek. It looks Matt awesome. Gray and everything, yep. The black prop as well, the black prop with the black spinner, I think just looks extra sexy oh, on it's, this it's thing. beautiful. I mean, the I just love the tires too. I think they, they kept the colors going everywhere and it, it works well on this. So I noticed there are some minor changes, even the way the winglets are just very, very slightly different shape yeah. than the older model. And you were saying the avionics are a little different. Avionics, yeah, you have some new changes inside. I mean, you know, keep everything up to date, but it, aerodynamically, I'm sure it flies the same as the rest of them, which yeah. It still stands out compared to most multis, you know, it's, it's a light multi, which is something most people aren't used to, but uh, it still has the controllability that you want, that, you know, you don't feel overwhelmed, you don't fall behind the plane, don't put yourself in any kind of danger, mm. which, you know, is the beauty of the Technum. We do 30 hours of multi time, so most of the other compressed courses are giving you 25 hours because that's your minimum uh, for getting employed at a lot of places, yeah. but we do 30 hours just to give you a little bit more time. Uh, it's a good opportunity when you're doing your multi-flying here to get some time in actual as well, so getting in some real weather. And then, of course, getting 30 hours of multi-time just moves your resume to the top of the pile. So when we talk to recruiters, we ask them, you know, what do you really value? One of the things that we hear is, is additional multi-time. So, you know, we really encourage our students to do some, some time as a multi-instructor. You were a multi-instructor? Yep, yeah, yeah, so I've been able to do the MAI stuff. It is huge um, having that multi-time because, I mean, everything's hours. And, and 25 is good, but getting that extra five is huge because, like you said, it does put you ahead of everyone else. And the experience that you get when you're flying the multi here, because like you said, we get more hours than most other schools, you know, but the ratings take less time than most other schools at the same time. Most yeah. people will get their multi here in 10 hours, and that gives them a whole nother, you know, 20 to kind of go mess around and do stuff in IMC, you know, get to experience what aviation really has to offer. Mm. And, and that along with having the extra multi time really does help you out when it goes to get a job. And even if you don't want to be an MEI, so we've had a few students that say, hey, look, I want to get my multi time, but I don't necessarily want to be an MEI. Then you can go do some fun stuff. Like, oh yeah. Uh, Ruben just flew up to San Francisco just in this last week and in, in one of the multis yeah. with, uh, who did he fly with? It was with? Walsh. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They went to go Christian, to Mon yeah, yeah. Monterey and hard IMC the whole way, which is, and that, that's like what you want. Even though like, you know, the IMC doesn't matter too much on the resume, having that confidence helps you so much more when you get to a real job where you're flying in that kind of weather. <laughs> Here it is coming in. <laughs> and it's so quiet. Even standing here filming right now, I mean, it's got both engines running. I think there's more, it, there's more noise coming from the aircraft taking off right now. Hey guys, how do you like the new multi? The old ones are still good, but these are better. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> so Hyundai, do, do we need to mic up Hyundai if I ask him a quick question, or are we good? Yeah. So <laughs> Hyundai is one of our multi-engine instructors. He does an amazing job. We get so much good feedback about him. How was he? Is he good? <laughs> What do you think? What do you think about this compared to the the, the, the white ones? Way better, to be honest. Like, everything's <laughs> brand new, and I love this airplane. You know, there's like nothing I wanna you know change. We actually have a electrical air fan, so it's actually you can stay cooler during the summer too. Still be stinking hot, but just a little better. bit less stinking hot than it was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love the color. I'm wearing gray. I love the color gray. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. I was saying earlier, I didn't think I'd like the grey, but now that I see it and it's got all the decals, I think they look really sharp. And I love, I love the prop and uh, and spinner as well. Yeah. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. 
really helps the channel. We really appreciate it. And stay tuned for some more Techno multi-engine content.